Overflowing crowd witness at Kamalapur railway station today to get advance tickets. Country will start administering cholera vaccine from the first week of May. The World Earth Day is being observed across the country. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to My TV English News. I'm Ashiku Zaman with you in the newsroom today. You are watching the headlines now. The details. Overflowing crowd has been witnessed at Kamulapur railway station today to get advance tickets for the April 26th train journey. Thousands of people have been waiting for the desired ticket since dawn. Tickets hopefuls complained of not being able to buy tickets online. However, the railway authorities say that measures have been taken to sell 100% of the tickets, including closing the ticket black market. This year, train tickets will be available at five places including Fulbaria, Airport and Kamulapur. Advanced train tickets will be on sale till next 1st May. Country will start administering cholera vaccine from the first week of May, says Health Minister Zahid Malik. However, the Health Minister has said that the areas where cholera and diarrhea are more prevalent will be given first. He said this after visiting the BDS Admission Test Center at Titumir College today. The country is ready to provide other vaccines, including corona. He said, adding that a number of initiatives are being taken to this end. Standing Committee member Nazrul Islam Khan has called upon the government employees to carry out their duties in accordance with the constitution of the country without resorting to partisanship. He made the call in the discussion of the Workers' Party in front of National Press Club today. The speakers alleged that a case has been filed in the name of local BNP leaders even though there was no connection between the clashes between businessmen and the students in New Market. The World Earth Day is being observed in the country as elsewhere across the globe in a befitting manner today, aiming to demonstrate support for environmental protection. To raise public awareness about the environment, April 22nd is celebrated every year in 193 countries around the world. Environmentally conscious people around the world are participating in a variety of activities to draw attention to need for immediate action to prevent a climate crisis and environmental pollution for keeping the planet safe and habitable. The theme of the day is invest in our planet. Russian President Vladimir Putin has declared the port city independent, demanding the fall of the Ukrainian port city of Mariupol. Putin made the claim after Russia intensified its offensive in eastern Ukraine. Meanwhile, troops besieged a steel plant in Mariupol, rejected Russia's offer of a two-point surrender and vowed to continue fighting. In such a situation, the commander of the Ukrainian Navy has appealed to the world for help for the last time. Meanwhile, U.S. President Joe Biden has announced an additional 800 million security assistance package for Ukraine. Britain and India agreed a new and expanded defense and security partnership on Friday, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson said in New Delhi. Johnson is visiting India just as he faces criticism for his own conservative MPs and the embarrassing prospect of a probe into whether he lied to Parliament over the Partygate scandal. New Delhi is a part of the Quad grouping with the United States, Japan and Australia that is seen as a bulwark against an increasingly assertive China. But India also has a long Cold War history of cooperation with Moscow, still its biggest military supplier, and has refused to condemn Russia for its invasion of Ukraine. 
Emmanuel Macron is leading the poll ahead of the final vote in the French presidential election. According to Deutsch Welle, a statistic on Thursday showed that 56% of French people still support Macron. The study was conducted jointly by Opinion Way and Kia Partners. The survey was conducted after a three-hour TV debate on Wednesday. Many says that Macron needs a second term for continuing the France's development. However, a separate poll found that 72% of people are reluctant to vote in a runoff or run-on election. That's all for now. Our next news bulletin will be at 7.30 p.m. in Bangla. Stay tuned. Allah Hafiz.